conservancy and water carriage system. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to elucidate the different methods of sewage collection and conveyance and describe the advantages and disadvantages of conservancy and water carriage system of waste disposal. Introduction to Conservancy and Water Carriage System Cities are one of mankind's greatest developments. Half the people on the planet now live in cities, that is, in urban areas. And it is expected to grow as two-thirds by the year 2050. This shows that people are driven to the higher living standards and social amenities that cities provide. But this results in the need for a better and well-planned habitation system to accommodate the overpopulation, especially the need for a good waste disposal system. Because since there is an increase in population, invariably there will be an increase in waste too. Especially in households, there are many possibilities for various wastes to be generated. Some of the wastes that are generated in a household are night soil, garbage, sullage, and storm water. There are two methods employed for the disposal of waste, such as conservancy and water carriage systems. So, in this lesson, let us learn about these systems in detail. Conservancy system. This is an old system in which various types of wastes, such as night soil, garbage, etc., are collected separately in vessels or deposited in pools or pits and then removed periodically at least once in 24 hours. The system is also known as the dry system. Now let's see the methods of collection of various types of wastes in the system. First, night soil. Night soil or human excreta in latrines or privies is collected separately in pans or pails and carried on heads of sweepers to a central place from where it is transported in bullock carts or motor vans to a place away from the town for its final disposal. Second, garbage. Garbage is a waste matter of both non-combustible as well as combustible types and it is collected separately in dustbins and conveyed on hand carts or garbage vans once or twice a day. Last, sullage and storm water. Sullage water and storm water are collected and conveyed separately in closed or open gutters. Even though this system is economical, it is not recommendable due to various disadvantages such as hygiene and sanitary aspects, conservancy system is highly unhygienic and causes insanitary conditions. Transportation aspect Transportation through streets in open carts is undesirable. Labor aspect As the disposal is entirely dependent on labor, their absence will leave privies non-usable because of the foul smell. Building design aspect They are to be located outside the house, that is, slightly away from the main building. Therefore, the compact design is not possible. Risk of epidemic Due to improper or careless disposal of night soil, there are more chances of an outbreak or epidemic. Pollution problems The liquid wastes may soak in the ground, thus contaminating the soil and groundwater. So, because of these disadvantages, it is recommendable to go for the water carriage system. In this system, the collection, conveyance and disposal of various types of wastes are carried out with the help of water. Thus, water is used as the medium to convey the waste from its point of production to the point of its treatment or final disposal. In this system, specially designed water closets are used which are flushed with 5 to 10 liters of water after every use. The human excreta, kitchen, bath, wash basin wastes, etc. are led to suitably designed and maintained sewers. The sewers are the underground closed pipes which lead the sewerage collected to a suitable site where it is treated suitably and then is disposed of by irrigation or by dilution. It should be noted that the garbage is collected separately and conveyed in the same manner 
as in the case of a conservancy system. Its major disadvantages are the large initial installation cost and the requirement of a large quantity of water. However, this is the most efficient and hygienic system. So, let's discuss the overwhelming advantages of this system. Hygiene and sanitary aspects. The system is very hygienic as the wastes are conveyed through closed conduits. Epidemic aspect. There are no chances of an outbreak or epidemic because flies and other insects do not have direct contact to the sewage. Pollution aspect. As the liquid wastes are directly conveyed through the sewers, there are no chances of contamination of soil and groundwater. Compactness in design. Since there are no foul smells from this system, the latrines can be attached to any part of the house. Treatment aspect. The system permits the use of modern methods of treatment of the sewerage. So, the treated water can be disposed safely. And the water carriage system is divided into three types. Separate system, combined system and partially separate system. In this, the separate system provides two separate systems of sewers. One for the conveyance of foul sewage only and the other for the rainwater and other non-foul waters. The sewage from the first system is treated and then discharged to the natural stream while the sewage from the second system is directly discharged without any treatment. Then the combined system provides only one sewer to carry both the foul sewage as well as the rainwater. Here the sewage and storm water are carried to the sewage treatment plant before its final disposal. And in the partially separate system, only one set of underground sewers is laid. These sewers admit the full sewage as well as the early washings by rain. As soon as the quantity of storm water exceeds a certain limit, it is collected and conveyed in open drains to the natural streams. The full sewage, however, continues to flow in the sewers. Conclusion This brings us to the end of the lesson. From this, we infer that, due to growing urbanization, generation of wastes also increases, especially in households. So, it is essential to provide a proper waste disposal system. Summary In this lesson, we have learnt about conservancy system. It is an old system in which various types of wastes are collected separately in vessels or deposited in pools or pits and then removed periodically at least once in 24 hours. The various types of waste in the system are night soil, garbage and sullage and storm water. Its disadvantages in the aspects of hygiene and sanitary, transportation, labor, building design, risk of epidemic and pollution problems. Then we learnt about water carriage system. In this system, the collection, conveyance and disposal of various types of wastes are carried out with the help of water. Its various advantages in the aspects of hygiene and sanitary, epidemic, pollution, compactness in design, treatment, etc. And its types are separate system, combined system and partially separate system.